Fabulous, happy, fun Friday. You have officially made it through six weeks of e-learning. So well done. Good job, everybody. Hey, you know what's something we have not talked about for a while is how it how is filling buckets going at home? Are you remembering to fill those buckets and using kind words and doing um, listening to to adults or whoever um, might be asking you to do things. How, how is it going? Are you guys continuing and remembering to fill buckets? I hope so. I know you are because you guys are awesome kiddos. So today we are, since it's Fun Friday, we're going to take another closer look at our caterpillars. And as promised, I have attached the painted ladybug diagram. Let's let my camera kind of focus in on that. This is what it looks like. And it shows the whole complete life cycle. And um, if you look at that cat, oops, <laughs> that's not going to be helpful, huh? If you look at the, let's turn sideways and see if we can zoom in a little bit. The caterpillar right there, you can look at those legs that I talked about last lesson and how there are different sections of legs. Very cool. Now they call the little hairs on the back of the painted lady caterpillar spikes. They are kind of like spikes, but they're used as hair to let the caterpillar sense where they're moving because their eyes aren't very good. So they use those like a cat would use its whiskers. So this also gives you a little bit more information about the butterfly um, when they hatch out what parts they're going to have. We'll talk more about that when we see ours um, hatching out of their chrysalises. But this is attached to your lesson. You can print it out. You can color it. You can just read it. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. So that is attached. Are you guys ready to see them? I have to be super gentle today because I noticed that they are entering in to the next phase. Are you ready? Look at that. They have all crawled up to the top and they're wiggling around, I can see. Do you remember what I mentioned they're doing at the top? They are making or weaving, I guess you could say spinning, a tiny little silk button at the very top. And they're going to attach their right where their spinner is um, to that button. And then they're going to hang down and they're going to make this awesome J shape. I'm hoping to catch it um, and take pictures of it. I hope I can do that. Um, sometimes you miss that if you are not carefully watching them. This guy right here, I think already has attached his, um, his lower end. He's kind of hanging down. They're very active right now. Can you see him just wiggling around? They're so cool. They're just so fun to watch. Anyway, they are bigger than they were last time we checked in on them. You can really see those hairs or spikes. You can also see their legs moving around. Very fun. So that is how our friends are doing. Our links, remember we named them link one, two, three, four, five. Um, they are doing very well. And the other thing is take a look at the food down at the bottom. Look how much food they have eaten. If you remember when I got them, there was a nice, solid, thick line of food. And they have just munched away and shed their skin so much that there's a lot of um, sloughed off or shed um, skin that's been shed on the bottom. So that is how our painted ladies are doing. Today, I thought it would also be fun to talk about ladybugs. They are one of my, they're probably my second favorite um, insect. And, <coughs> excuse me, they uh, were one of our first signs of spring. If you think back, far, far back, when we walked past the grassy area coming in from play, the playground, we saw a ladybug coming out very early in the springtime. 
And I have attached a video that kind of talks about ladybugs and how they spend their winter. I think you will think it's interesting because they do things very similar to other animals in the winter. How do bears um, spend their winter? Do you remember? They hibernate. Well, believe it or not, ladybugs do the same thing. So watch that video if you get a chance, and it will tell you a little bit more about the life cycle of a ladybug, which is very similar to that of a butterfly. So I have a story for you. Also attached is a ladybug life cycle um, activity, kind of like the one you did with um, caterpillars. And butterflies. This one can be made out of a paper plate or you could just cut it out and um, make it uh, just out of paper would be fine. It is one that has a bottom and then the top spins around. So hopefully you have one of those little spinners. We call them brads. If not, that's okay. You can just lay it on top and move it. Would work just fine. Are you guys ready to learn a little bit more about ladybugs? Here's my creepy crawly book, and right off the bat, you can see a ladybug. I just think they're beautiful. I really like the colors of ladybugs and, and their cute little bodies. By the way, um, we talked about way, er way um, earlier in lessons, we talked about incomplete metamorphosis and complete metamorphosis and the kind of the difference between them. Remember, metamorphosis just simply means change. It's a very big word to mean big change. A caterpillar or a um, ladybug is different than a caterpillar and a butterfly because these are technically beetles. A ladybug is in the beetle family. So they're uh, second phase, egg, larva. Their larva stage looks a little different than a caterpillar. So let's take a look. It says, I'm trying to figure out how to hold my book again. <laughs> All right, let's do that. There we go. Ladybugs, it's good to have ladybugs in gardens, in your garden, because they eat aphids. Aphids suck the juice from flowers and make them dry up. Way back when I mentioned that, that if you see ladybugs in your garden, that's a good thing. Because these little critters right here, ah, <laughs> these guys really do damage to, to your flowers. So you want ladybugs. In fact, often farmers who use natural ways uh, of getting rid of insects will sometimes buy a bunch of ladybugs and let them go in their field to clean up all those aphids. So let's flip this up. It says, what a juicy rosebud, it says. I think those are the aphids talking. Oh, no. Let's flap it. And then the aphids see the ladybug and say, run. <laughs> they know they're going to eat. A ladybug can eat over 50 aphids in a day. And actually, the video that I attached talks about, wow, it's amazing. Not only can ladybugs lay thousands of eggs, but they also eat a tremendous amount of insects. Believe it or not, they're kind of small. small. You, would never, you would never believe that. At the very top, it says, when a ladybug flies, she lifts her wing case. That is how we know it's a beetle, because unlike a butterfly, a beetle has its wings encased in a shell. Flip that up, and it says, I'm flying! And it takes off. So the shell lifts up, and the wings, the translucent, or the see-through wings, are underneath them. This ladybug has laid her eggs on the underside of a leaf. In a few days, the babies will hatch. And true enough, ladybugs lay lots of eggs. And they lay them kind of in a cool way, in nice little lines um, on the under part of, of the underneath part of a leaf. Down here it says, different types of ladybugs have a different number of spots on their bodies. Did you know that? That's kind of cool. The video also talks about the most common kind of ladybug and how many spots she has. Down here it says, I've got lots of spots. 
where are yours? And this ladybug says, don't have any. Don't have any at all. Wow. I don't know about that. I don't, have you ever seen a ladybug without spots? Hmm. Do you know, I have seen a yellow ladybug before. I thought that was beautiful, but it had spots. Hmm. Interesting. So there is your new insect for the weekend. You can go on a nature hunt, see how many ladybugs you can find. Also, just today or yesterday, maybe it was yesterday, I saw butterflies in my field and I was so excited. I didn't recognize them. They were not painted ladies and it's possible they were moths, but I was very excited to see um, those signs of spring just makes me know that summer's on its way. So let's go over the life, the life cycle of the caterpillar one more time. And then I have one more thing that I've attached to the lesson that I'll talk about. So think back. We just talked about ladybugs. Very similar to uh, our butterfly. But butterfly life cycle starts as this the egg yes and ladybug eggs are yellow and painted ladybug eggs look like this yes and same the butterfly and the ladybug both lay their eggs on leaves so that's something that's similar about them when this egg hatches for a butterfly it looks like this a cute little caterpillar and this is kind of fun because this guy I don't know if you can tell he's got <laughs> he's got little legs I'm holding them upside down so you can see them and you can see there's the tops here's his head here's the top section of his legs and the bottom section of his legs and then all those bumps are kind of the spikes or hair if this were a the life cycle of a ladybug it would be a yellow egg and then it would be a, like a nymph, like a tiny beetle like with a long uh, body. You'll see that as part of your activity. Once this goes up to the top of a leaf or a container, it's going to make a J shape and then it's going to wind its way into a chrysalis, which is a nice little pouch their body is going to turn into bug juice while it's in here, which is amazing. The ladybug also attaches itself and makes a chrysalis-like sac. All of those parts are being rearranged. And after a while, out emerges a beautiful uh, butterfly. And believe it or not, this eats with its mouth. Do you know that butterflies don't even have a mouth? They have this curly thing called a proboscis. And it's like a straw. And it sucks out nectar. So it goes from munching leaves to drinking like sugar water. Amazing. The ladybug hatches out and it is... A ladybug, you're right, it's got it. It has its shell and um, it is, is transformed into something new, just like the butterfly. All right, guys, speaking of metamorphosis, remember, that's the word that means big change. I found a fun, free game that I was playing and I attached that to the lesson too. Make sure you ask permission first. It has different insects and animals that go through a big metamorphosis or change. And you get to click on the different parts and kind of review what the life cycles look like, which is kind of fun. There also are um, click uh, answer, uh, questions that you have to click on, like what part of the life cycle is comes after egg and you have to click on larva. So that might need a big um, sibling or someone to help you read those words. But it seemed like a fun game and I enjoyed playing it. So I included that just as a review for you guys. So 
Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Go out there, find some insects, and I will see you for Math Monday. Bye, guys.